I'll tell you this one thing about cricket that I love, and I don't know if many sports have this, and that's the fact that you can go from playing at 50,000 people, right? You could be playing an Ashes series and you could have people screaming your head, uh, screaming their heads off at you. And then maybe in a few weeks' time, you could be at a second team game running through like drills or getting prepped for another game and there'd literally be man and his dog there and no yeah. one watching. And the, yeah, it's very humbling, this, isn't it? It's a very humbling experience. <laughs> like, I don't think people can recognise it. And, and I've always... And we've spoken about this. I've spoken with it with other athletes I work with about the whole going from a really big game and still being able to perform in a game where the crowd isn't there. The crowd can't be there to create that buzz and that energy. And and I've I'd seen it all throughout my professional career. People that struggled with it, people that hadn't. Is there anything that you've started to find that's clicking a little bit that that you you do? And I, I think I, I I've got a few thoughts on it, but. Yeah, is there anything that you found challenging with it and maybe how you've started to, to work through it? Definitely remember that first year of the 100. We'd gone from playing at a Lord's sellout ground and I think four days later we had our domestic T20 campaign at Hove. And yeah, like I said, it was like four guys, four people and their dogs were there. And it was this massive like anti-climax. And I think everyone felt a little bit like flat, like this is a big come down. But I guess like for me, my prep is never, this, is never different. Um, keeping your prep the same, whether it's, one of the best biggest tournaments you ever play in your life or a club game like I think keeping your prep the same is crucial really because you don't want to change things and I think it can be a little bit demotivating at times but I think if you keep your prep the same and you prepare like you normally would for whether it's yeah the biggest game or a local club game then I think hopefully that sort of keeps you grounded but um but yeah that's the beauty of the sport I also think cricket's one of those unique sports where you could literally like it's not like football you could be Say like a 16 year old young player and playing with like an England player who's got 100, 100 caps, mm. like county cricket, uh, franchise cricket, domestic cricket. Like you can be playing with unbelievable international players, a 15 year old that's just got a part time contract to an academy player. Like I love the disparity in the team and, and the diversity and the, you know, the experienced players, the young players. And again, that's that's the beauty of the sport and the I guess the end of the spectrum that you meet as well. Hey, if you've enjoyed that video, then you can click right here to watch the full unedited version of that episode. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking the button below. I'll see you soon.